Today, you will learn how to make between 8 and 14% interest by investing in rental units on the Czech-based car lending platform Fintown. In this Fintown review, we will introduce the platform and cover the aspects surrounding risk, return and liquidity. Watch until the end as I will also share my experience with Fintown after investing over 3,500 euro. Just a disclaimer, I will be diving a bit deeper in this video review. If you prefer to watch only certain parts of the video, use the timestamps to jump to the sections that interest you the most. Before we start, you should know that this video is not investment advice, P2P lending or crowd lending is risky and you might lose your money. The industry is changing rapidly and you should always monitor the events surrounding your investments. Fifton is a recently launched platform that lists investment opportunities in already operational rental properties in Prague and real estate development projects via a mezzanine loan. You can start investing from just one euro and the platform offers between 8 and 14% interest depending on that long term. If you want to invest some money for one month only, you can expect to earn 8% interest per year. Investors who don't mind committing capital for a longer period can earn up to 14% interest per year with monthly interest payments. Those are very competitive rates, especially for investors experiencing cash rack or liquidity issues on other P2P lending platforms. So now that we have covered the basics, let's dive deeper into the investments that Fintown offers. Fintown offers two types of products, investments in already operational serviced rental units in the city center of Prague, as well as investments in development projects from the Vyhotev Group, which Fintown is a part of. Understanding the differences is crucial as they will impact your risk, return and liquidity on the platform. Let's first cover the first type of investment, rental units. The Vyhotev Group owns and develops several buildings in Prague, offering serviced apartments for rent. Those apartments are listed on rental platforms such as Booking.com, and offered to anyone looking to rent a place in Prague while visiting the city. So how do you make money by investing in already operational serviced apartments? Every serviced apartment on Fintown comes with a pie chart representing the capital structure, which consists of a senior bank loan, equity and a Fintown loan, which is the portion of the property that is financed by investors. Fintown's goal is to remove some of its equity and replace it with funds from investors. That way, the available equity can be used to develop and finance further projects and build even more serviced apartments. It's important to remember that Vyhotev Group still keeps some equity in every apartment, which is basically their skin in the game. So in short, you as the investor are refinancing the equity in exchange for interest paid from rental yield. So it's actually quite straightforward. The structure of every development project consists of, let's say, 50, 55, up to 60% of senior loan and then 40% equity. And then there is a possibility to refinance part of this equity with some kind of mezzanine loan. This also allows us actually to offer this bigger yield on our investments because if we were financing everything for example with fintown on any other crowdfunding platform we won't be able to offer such high yield let's say 10 12 14 percent because weighted average in capital would be high so to understand weighted average capital is actually this pi this structure where you have for example, bank for 5 6%, then you have a little portion of mezzanine loan for 14%, and this average weighted capital is, let's say, 5 or 6 or 7% but it's not 14. So this is the main idea behind it. Let's now discuss the risk factors you must consider when investing in Fintown's rental units. The main risk is that the rental yield would drop drastically, affecting Fintown's ability to pay all the interest to investors. To evaluate this risk, we must consider certain variables, mainly the occupancy and the daily average rental rates. What is currently the occupancy of uh, the rental units that you're managing in Prague? I just checked it. This month we have 93%. So in average, mm -hmm. we are having more than 90% of occupancy. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. those are actually two points very important in rental business. You have to have high occupancy and high mm -hmm. average daily rate. So two things have to be as high as possible. Mm -hmm. So we have quite high average daily rate. It's almost around 100 euro and over 90% of occupancy. On every project page, you can review the occupancy rate as well as the average daily rates in Europe. According to the CEO, the occupancy rate remained above 90% even in 2023, and the average daily rate increased to almost 100 euro, which generates enough revenue to cover the cost of the management of those rental units, as well as the cost of capital, including the interest for investors. Outside of those variables, one risk factor that impacted the rental yield was the COVID pandemic. Let's hear how the company has coped with that. 
The second risk, like with rental business, as you know, the biggest issue I would say is COVID, for example, something like this. But even when we had COVID, we were operating in, uh, with occupancy up to 75% and we were ranking as 26 venue in all the booking system. So there were 2000 hotels and different accommodations and we were on 26 like place at that time. So of course we were not earning some like super money. Of course we had to make prices go down, but we still were able to operate with such high occupancy while the market was on 12% in average. So as you can see, even during challenging times, the group was still able to manage their rental properties and overcome the period without any financial issues. It's also important to understand that there is a cap on how much money the platform will raise for every rental property. For example, for the project Honest Smichov, Fintown will raise only about 1 million euro to refinance part of its equity. After reaching this target, the company won't list any more investment opportunities in this building. So if you are interested in investing in serviced apartments operating for over four years now, you shouldn't wait too long. Let's now discuss Fintown's second product, development loans. Those loans come with an interest payout at the end of the loan period, which can be nine months or longer. The funds raised are being used to cover the costs of the final stages of development projects, such as the Honest Carlin project, which is about to be finished and will be available for rent in the first quarter of next year. The risk of investing in development projects on Fintown is reduced by currently listing only in-house projects, meaning Viotev Group is the main developer and is also in control of the construction. The second risk reducing factor is that as of right now, the platform offers investments in late stage projects, meaning real estate properties that are about to be finished. This means that you will eliminate the risk connected to the funding of early stages. In development, of course, one of the main risks is getting construction permit. As I told before, you can wait for like seven years to have construction permit. So that's why we are rolling out products that are actually at late phase than when we are already finishing the construction. So we received construction permit like long ago. Apart from understanding the risk, you should always understand how the platform can pay the interest and how it will return the principal. While the interest for rental units is paid from the pooled rental yield, the loan principal will be repaid either through refinancing via a cheaper bank loan or by refinancing it through the investment fund. Now that we have covered some of the main risk aspects and the financing structure, let's discuss the liquidity of projects on Fintown. As Fintown has just launched this year, the management understands that it needs to build trust with investors, which is why Fintown offers a variety of loan periods at different rates. If you want to test Fintown, you can first invest in one of their flexi offers with a 30-day loan term allowing you to exit after just one month. Of course, Fintom is interested in building a sustainable funding source for the long run, which is why the platform also offers investments for up to three years at higher interest rates. One of the perks on Fintom is that all the currently listed investments are in-house projects. This means that Fintom can pay interest to investors regularly without waiting for third parties to receive the funds, which is often the case on other P2P lending platforms. While Fintom does not have a traditional secondary market, the platform offers investors the possibility to exit an investment at a discounted price. Should you, for example, request to exit an investment with a long term of 36 months, you pay a 30% discount on the principal the first year, 20% discount the second year, and 10% the third year. You should therefore plan your liquidity accordingly, as an early exit comes with certain costs, which essentially lowers your return. At the moment, you must make a direct request to Fintown if you wish to exit the investment before the end of the long term there will likely be an automated process for this in the future. Now that you have a good understanding of what you are funding on Fintown, let's give you a quick platform walkthrough so you know what to expect. So first of all, you have to sign up and create an account. Fintown is currently available for investors all over the world. If you decide to sign up with our link below, you will get a 15 euro investment bonus after you invest at least 300 euro. After registering and verifying your identity, you can transfer funds to Fintown with your unique reference number. Just navigate to my accounts to review the deposit instructions. The transfer may take up to three business days. From my experience, it takes one or two days if you transfer funds from a European bank account. After you have topped up your account, you will get an email confirming that you have now available funds to invest. Navigate to current investment opportunities and select the project you want to invest in. As mentioned earlier, you can choose between a rental project and development loans. You can also select 
uh, one of the Flexi offers with the option to withdraw your funds after just one month. I highly suggest reviewing the project descriptions and the terms so you know what you are funding. The project type and interest payout frequency are important details to consider. If the project fits your investment strategy, click on invest now and insert the desired investment amount. After you confirm your investment, you will get an email notification and you can also review it under my investment in the left menu. In this view, you can get the list of projects in which you have invested with loan type, amount and payout date representing the end of the lockup period. If you reach the payout date, you can request a payout, withdraw your funds or leave it as it is and continue earning interest. Fintalk presents the daily accrued interest which will be paid to your account monthly. You can either withdraw the interest or reinvest it into available projects. The minimum investment amount on Fintalk was recently lowered to just one euro which enables you to invest the interest payments. Unfortunately at the time of recording you have to invest your funds manually as there is no auto invest yet. This might however change in the future. Under my account you can review the transaction history. The platform does not offer any account statements for tax purposes which may be a doubt for some investors. While you do not get a loan agreement for every investment, you can review the general terms and conditions, including agreements under your profile in the document section. If you are keen to maximize your return, you can also take advantage of Fintons VIP Club, which increases your interest by 0.5% or 1% if your investment on the platform exceeds 10,000 or 30,000 euro for at least 12 months. So now you might be wondering whether your investment on Fintone is safe. We have already discussed the market risks when covering the two various investment products. Fintone as a platform is not regulated, but it is a part of the VHF group, which also raised funds via an investment fund that falls under regulatory oversight in the Czech Republic. One aspect to consider is certainly the platform risk. Fintone launched just this year, so there isn't any long-lasting track record. VHF group, which owns Fintone, has been developing real estate properties in Prague for several years and it has also funded loans through various third-party platforms. To our knowledge, all the previously raised funds have been returned to investors without any delays. In every project description, you can also read more details about the VHF Group's track record under the Borrower tab. During our research, we have not found any red flags surrounding the platform's management. It is, however, always recommended to do your own due diligence, especially if you plan to invest higher amounts. Remember to keep up to date on the news surrounding your investments. The P2P lending industry is developing rapidly and certain risks might arise. So, what do I think about Fintelon? Is it a platform one should consider? Well, based on my experience as an investor, I think it's the most interesting platform that has started operating this year. It's certainly not another P2P marketplace offering investments in emerging markets. I like the fact that Fintone lists in-house projects, meaning they are aware of all the operations behind the business. Investing in third-party borrowers comes with additional risks, which are often very hard to evaluate for investors. The balance between return and liquidity is unique on Fintone compared to the rest of the industry. There are not many platforms that pay out interest every month. If you have been around for a while, you might have experienced pending payments and delays, creating frustration. This has not been the case on Fintown so far. You should remember that investments on Fintown are structured as a mezzanine loan, meaning they are not secured by any asset and are only backed by a group guarantee offered by the VHF group. That's something to keep in mind, but on the other hand, most of the unsecured loans in my portfolio perform better than those secured by a mortgage, so it's not really a deal breaker for me. One could also argue that the platform's interface is a bit too simple, but this might be more subjective. I would appreciate seeing income reports and account statements available in PDF and Excel formats. The platform also started publishing monthly performance overviews, which give you a good insight into how the loans on the platform are performing. I think that Fintown offers attractive investment opportunities considering the current market situation. Of course, one should not deposit all the savings on the platform. There are always some risks that could materialize. No one can tell how the platform will perform in the future. So far, their portfolio performed as expected. The management is willing to answer any questions and we even discussed Fintone's products with the founder of Max and Vyotev. The interview is available only for paying members with the link in the description below. However, it will be exclusively available in our Fintone review for the next 48 hours. So if you want to watch it for free, do 
it now to create your own opinion of Finton's founder and CEO. Let's wrap up this Finton review with some pros and cons. Here are some of the positive aspects of Finton. The platform offers a good return on your investment. There are plenty of loans available at flexible terms for short-term and long-term investors. Finton offers daily accurate interest with monthly payments. The platform is also part of the Rioja Group, an experienced developer in Prague. The business model is comprehensive. So far, the group backing Finton had a good track record. Fintown's offer is unique in the industry and the risk is being managed in-house as the platform does not offer any third-party projects. Investing in already operational service departments in Prague comes with a lower country risk than financing short-term loans in developing countries. The platform rewards loyal investors with its VIP club and the borrower always keeps some skin in the game in every project, which is not the case on most real estate platforms. Where there are benefits, there are also some negative points which could be improved. There is room for improvement regarding the design of the investment dashboard. The early exit option is expensive. The investment limit will be capped in the future as there is only a limited number of projects from the Biodev group. Last but not least, Finton is still a new platform in the industry with a limited track record offering unsecured loans. So that's been our review of Finton. Make sure to read our news feed and our Finton review on P2P Empire to get updated on the latest news and features. Remember to always monitor the performance of your investments as things can change over time. If you appreciate the review, hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Also, if you decide to sign up on Finton and invest in some of the available projects, consider using our link in the description below. It will give you a 15 euro bonus and you also help support our channel where you get regular updates around various platforms for free. If you have any other questions about Finton or want to share your experience, do so in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one.